is this thing on? Um, welcome, welcome to the uh, finally, finally welcome to the long-awaited electronics channel. I am doing soldering irons, which is why this mess in front of you contains so many soldering irons. This is the tip of the iceberg. I have a lot more soldering irons than this, and what I want to do is I want to do one episode, very short episodes, with just one soldering iron in, and use that soldering iron to solder something from this pile of kits that extends further than the camera could see that I've got from AliExpress. We'll just see how it goes. I probably will mess it up initially and I know that the camera setup isn't brilliant and my lights aren't working at the moment but we'll we'll just plow ahead and today we're going to look at the pine sill because I think it's a reasonable base for comparison for all the future ones because a lot less is known about the um, frog bro. So <laughs> I'm not going to be using any expensive soldering irons. We're, we're not going to be using like a Weller. Every every single one of them is what you would consider cheap. I think the most expensive one is probably um, the Dremel one, which I think is about £40. And I'm just more interested in cheaper ones because I, I certainly don't have money to throw away on £200 soldering irons. I'm sure you don't either. So the Pine Sill is cheap it's around 30 pounds to get it to the uk um you might get stung with um import taxes because you have to buy it really directly from them um but around 30 pounds is a reasonable guide price it comes with literally nothing you get the base here and you get the tip just the tip and these tips are <laughs> expensive because um yeah i, I knew this camera was going to mess about these tips are expensive because everything is in the tip, the heating element. Um, so I think you're looking at at least £10 for replacements. You can get, I think you can get them slightly cheaper from online. I keep trying to stick it in there, but that's actually where the power goes in. You can either power it with USB-C or DC barrel jack. 18 to 88 watts. Uh, the maximum my power supply can do should really figure out how to use my phone but i i haven't figured out how to use my phone you can't read that but it says 65 watts and that's anyway this goes in this end the big hole and um it just slides in there and this is one of the chief complaints i've got about the soldering iron actually if you hold it like that can you see it wiggles around me from the future here this is actually after i edited this uploaded it and showed it to some people on discord thanks john for correcting me on this one there is a screw where the tip goes and i'll try and get a picture and put it on screen now you tighten up that screw and it tightens up the tip and it solves the problem i'm currently moaning about and i will be moaning about it again at the end of the video ignore all that i mean i still have complaints about this because it's not in the manual it's not in the quick start guide you have to know that you need to know this because the screw itself just looks like a, a casing assembly screw. It looks like the other screw on the opposite side that actually holds the thing together. It would be far better if they either documented it or actually had a thumb screw, you know, like with with um, with knurling on it to give you an indication that that actually tightens up the tip. So instead of a design fault, it's a documentation fault. I, I'm still annoyed about it because I've wasted a lot of time talking about it and editing that video but there you go so the main gripe with the pine sill is no longer a gripe so make of that what you will i'll adjust the score at the end and re-upload you see that says 19.5 volts there um that will give you um i think around 60 something watts and to turn it on you you just press that button and it will tell you um so using about 50 watts actually 50 watts to cool it down you press the other button and it does take a good while to cool down actually and while that's cooling down i don't think it yeah it, it, the manual focus doesn't work you set manual focus and it just carries on auto focusing i'm going to try and get a better camera but i've got to figure out how right so i'm going to test this one out on a random kit that one's cool isn't it it's like a bug can you see that um i've already started it because this is not the first take so the other thing is the other thing is you absolutely need to have uh, and this is what doesn't come with the pine sill so you end up spending more money you have to have one of these things which contains a brass i think it's brass 
um, jobby thing. And also, yeah, also um, lead free solder. This is from a legendary place called Maplin that doesn't exist anymore. That's how long solder lasts. If you get a reel of solder this size, unless you solder a lot, this will this will last you forever. Uh, right, let's, let's get this kit in. I don't know what this kit actually is. I could probably look, but I'd have to figure out which which one it is. Uh, interesting. I think it's some kind of um, tune thing. I think it plays some kind of melodies. Um, beyond that, I, I have no idea. I've half soldered it because the first take, yeah. So let's go. And I'm going to have to solder with the fan on and the window open. So that's not really... Um, good in terms of audio so I'll do that as a time lapse or whatever Okay, so it's done. It's done. And I'll talk about the soldering in a minute. I'll talk about the soldering iron in a minute. Let's plug it in. Um, I've got this power adapter. It says it needs between four and a half and five volts. I, I looked on the AliExpress page. Um, that's all I could glean out of it. Fascinating. Okay. And... That is amazing. Well, that's... That is actually really cool. Um, most of it's being done by this chip here I think these are probably just amplifiers I, 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 I have no idea but um, yeah that works okay let's talk about I'm gonna have to focus this manually because I think I've got the focus lock working for now right there we go soldering wise this was interesting because it didn't give me any guidance on how to solder it so I had to kind of you know, these are some high temperature solder joints here, or rather high capacity because huge plate to huge plate kind of thing. Um, broadly speaking, apart from the annoyance of the play in the head um, bugging me all the, the whole time, um, it is capable of doing this kind of thing. And it was also capable of the high capacity stuff here. The solder joints are generally quite neat, I think. You're looking at them close up, um, and obviously I could tidy up the, the wires there, just snip them a bit closer. Uh, but generally speaking, most of those solder joints are quite neat. And so that's the pine sill. I have some points. First point, finger slips forward on the grip. The grip here doesn't have any kind of guard at the end. That's like a stand for putting it down um, so when you're soldering it's quite easy to slide down here especially if you're putting pressure on and burn yourself uh, the wobbly tip as I mentioned before it should be cool enough now to be able to see yep do you see that not cool I would say definitely underpowered it it feels like it has a lag you put it down it goes into power save mode you pick it up it heats up it's got a lag compared to what it says on the display plus points it's really fast to heat up even actually heat up as opposed to what it says on the display and it also has a shutdown mode if you leave it so even if you leave it by accident it will turn off so yeah that's the pine cell there we go that's the first one done thank you for watching